it has come to my attention uh, that there is a women's football tournament going on, uh, and that is a women's football tournament. For those of you who can't define a woman, I'm afraid uh, you may have to think again, because it is actually called women's football. It's not called football for people with a cervix. It's not called football uh, for people without penises. It's called women's football, right? However, there's a problem, because apparently the England football team is not diverse enough. Have a look at this. An historic eight-goal victory for England last night as the Lionesses secured their place in the quarterfinals. But all starting 11 players and the five substitutes that came onto the pitch were all white. And that does point towards a lack of diversity in the women's game in England. And it's something that Alex Scott has been investigating. So apparently the England women's football team is too white. Just too many white people. Now, that person who said that is a woman by the name of Ailey Barber. I think she's a former footballer and now BBC commentator. This, ladies and gentlemen, is mainstream television. This is what goes for mainstream television views on the BBC. This is, of course, the state-run broadcaster. This is the one uh, which is run and paid for by us. How ludicrous to say that a criticism of the England football team for women, which has won and got into the quarterfinals, is too white. Unbelievable. What is wrong with these people? Are they going to make the same comment about the Nigerian women's football team because it's too black? Probably not. Amazing.